Welcome back everybody to my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect 3. Today I kind of want to head back and visit Caden. I know he's in the hospital in the Citadel right now recovering from his injuries and then we have a mission where we have to go and rescue the Primarch who is like the head of the Turian hierarchy slash government type thing. I'm really excited in the last one we picked up a Protheum which I did not expect at all so I'm really excited to get to know that character a little bit more but for now thank you so so much for being here and let's get straight into it. <laughs> Citadel. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Okay. Figures. Finally back in action. The Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? <laughs> docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Hospital, embassies... Oh, that's good. Hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. So we go straight there. That's handy. Where is Caden Alenko? Can I... I can't even go back in yet. Let me in! Let me in! Kitten! Oh, I wanted to see him. Why are they all just stood staring at him? Let me in! <laughs> oh well, that was a pointless trip. Welcome to Serta. Supplies? I don't need a Medigel. I don't need Peruvian whiskey. Who likes the whiskey? I think jo Dr. Chakwas likes whiskey, but I'll buy this in case somebody wants it. And we'll purchase that too, why not? Thank you, for shopping. Thank you for shopping. No problem. Okay, that was a pointless trip. Sadly. Samantha hasn't been talking much. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself. But he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. <laughs> Primarch Fedorian of the Turian hierarchy has called a war summit that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible. I don't believe I've heard the word Crucible yet, but I'm assuming that that's the Prothean device. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in the Reaper attack on Palavin. Rescue the Turian Primarch from Palavin's moon. We can do that. Okay, back to the mass relay. And now I think it's here we have to go Apian Crest. Woo! Okay, let's just go to Manet, I guess. Rescue Turian Primarch. Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of Turian Space Age. Here we go. Oh, can we bring Javik out? No, he doesn't want to come out with us yet. Me. Have to bring Liara and James. Have you got a different outfit, Liara? Ooh. Oh, ooh, I like that one. Yes, I love that. And James. Right, now I need to make sure I do my loadout properly this time because I didn't realize it had taken all my weapons off. Submachine gun. So we've got shotgun, pistol. I want a sniper, but it makes me too heavy. Why have they included this new mechanic? <laughs> we need to increase the weight that we can carry. Hit points. Let's go Nova. Okay, damage or radius. Let's go radius. James has four points, so we can maybe start doing this incendiary ammo. Perfect. And Liara has seven points, so let's see if we can upgrade her pure biotic. Let's do, yeah, that. Okay, perfect. Oh God. I don't like 
when they open their hands like that. Holy shit. This is the Turians? How are you supposed to take out the reap? Like, they're huge. They're massive. I don't understand how we can ever destroy them. And there's so many of them as well. We're just sneaking past, going to the moon. Oh no. No. Palavin. Have they just blown it up? We have an old friend there. No! Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Is Garrus there? Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. No. James, open that hatch. Put your helmet on. Cleared the landing zone. Let's go. Sniper. Okay. Whoa. Oh god, I have to reload too often. Turian. All right. Oh, I missed. Get in, get out. Let's move. No, I'm gonna have to use my other weapon. Husks, they look like they're bigger than normal. Why haven't I got a helmet on? Turians, we're here to help. Let's go. Friendly, friendly, friendly. It's Commander Shepard. Who is your commanding officer? Please say it's Gare Bear. I ho he can't be down on Palavin. Domestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Barnas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe Corinthus. it. Corinthus. General Corinthus. Nice to meet you. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Oh shit. Primarch Fedorian is oh, dead. Oh no! His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. Shit. That's gonna complicate things. How are things here on Manet? <laughs> How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. Shit. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. Where's Garrus? A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. I don't understand how we can ever defeat them. Like The this Primarch is... and his men found that out the hard way. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. No. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. <laughs> Liara's great right. for just General providing Corinthus. context. <laughs> With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. So that's our task, get the comm tower up. swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this. Commander Shepard said, that All sounds right, like a side go. quest to me. Let me help you. I see the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. Oh, there's so many dead bodies everywhere. Okay, let's go out this way. Let me help. Really, I don't. This feels quite different to the other two games in that it feels like we're out of war now. It doesn't feel like we're just randomly getting into little battles and being attacked. Like, this feels like a full on war that we're just getting in the middle of. 
The way they are running is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> So he got charged. Look at the Reapers, man. They're huge. How do we defeat them? I don't know how that's going to come about. It's so funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but just like, I have no idea. I have no concept we of how we can ever defeat them. Panel. Oh, James, you make the repair. Uh, Liara, you make the repair. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. The way they run is so stupid. I love it. They're running like there's no gravity at all. <laughs> Okay, good woman. Oh, James, careful! Nah, he just punched General, it. Do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavin Command. Okay. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepherd out. Shepherd out. Liara, are you coming back? Ooh. I'm stuck on something. Okay, we're good. Woo! Where's my team? There's Liara. There's James. We're all good. Don't run in front of me. Let me try some more of my powers. Okay. Okay, no problem. On our way. Get back to Car what's he called? Corinthus? Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> our little side roly polies. I love them. Let me in. Who's in charge? Gare Bear? No, surely not. What's that? <gasps> oh I think I liked that weapon last time we used it. The scimitar was a shotgun, I think. Yes. My weight now is too much, though. I'm going to unequip the sniper for now because the fire rate is just not reliable enough. Not reliable was the wrong word. It's just not fast enough for me right now. Hello. Let me speak to him. Fine, I'll go up this way then. Stupid. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. Aww. So many dead are MIA. I need someone Who is the designated survivor? The Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Yay! Garrus. Yay! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. He's important, is he? At ease, General. Good to see you again. His music is so good. Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. Oh, bless him. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Oh, good yes. to see you in one piece, Garrus. General oh, I'm Corinthus so happy we have him we back. Know who we're after. Palavin Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Aww. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Well... Sounds like a man. What do you mean? My own heart. On Tatris during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian separatists did. 
Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Okay. Old strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. Primarch Victus. I like the sound of that. We need him. Unconventional thinking might be the only way to save Palavin and Earth. He'll do whatever it takes. His voice is so good. Reminds me of an old human specter I knew. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and he get out of here. Me. Commander, Shepard, come in. Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. What's going on up there? On the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Oh Shutting no! Systems, powering up weapons. That woman that we brought aboard. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Yes, go back and Garrus, help them. You said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! What? The airfield. Harvester? General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Yay! Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Oh! Um, oh, there's so many weapons here. Viper. Is that a better sniper? Fire rate's a little bit better, at least. Can we put on a submachine gun without affecting the weight? Not really. <gasps> Sniper's just not what we need right now, unfortunately. Airfield. James, that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen. Anyway. Whoa! What is a marauder? Just me? Or do those reapers look like tourists? They do. You're right, they do. This is what's starting to happen now, no. Take them seriously, sorry. Oh, oh. oh shit. Garris, you okay? Whoa. Just obliterated him. the shotgun. Oh god, you're right there. Ooh. That shotgun is gnarly. Holy moly. We're done. Right, let's go back to Corinthus. Shepard, come in. I'm here. Go ahead. I'm here. On my way. Main barricade, okay? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Reload the thing. Quick. Come on, James, get that one, please. On top of us. Okay, come on. Who's next? Who's next?
Reload, reload, reload. These guys are just having so much fun with this. I think it's great crack. <laughs> gone oh god not the time oh no 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 Ooh. oh i missed the final kill what's the word of the primarch still can't get a stable calling <gasps> okay i'm going oh on god. foot shepherd out okay oh that was kind of badass shit damn it look at palavin that blaze of orange, the big one. That's where I was born. Oh, Garrus. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad, a sister. No. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day, five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. This is so awful. For now, but how long does it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers. Exactly. We might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. That's what I keep thinking, what James just said. How do you prepare for this? They're like otherworldly large. Like that's the planet and that's one Reaper. I don't understand how we fight against these things. Just follow Gare Bear. Oh, okay, you. I'm taking I'm the lead now. Here. Oh. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards. New York? Uh, I never should have left Earth. Oh, James feels guilty now He's for leaving be bad Earth. All over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some board. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. We do need to team up. We need to ally with the Turians. I think they will ally Soldier, with us. You okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Head south. Headed okay, south. Good luck. Yes, sir. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, this really does feel like a war zone. It's not like anything else I remember from the first two games. Holy moly. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Garrus. Stop doing Marvel quips in the middle of this war zone. Whoop. Victus, are you here? Hello? So, Commander. Yep. You really think this summit will work? I mean, a sorry? Solarians? Aww. Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. Ooh, the Krogan was that my fault? Given us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Solarians came up. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. 
They're tough sons of bitches. The Krogan will join us if Rex is in charge. If Rex is still in charge, we might be able to convince the Krogan to come and help us. Well, that section of the Krogans anyway. And also Grunt maybe has some kind of power now since everybody fell in love with him and wanted to mate with him. And if we can get Morden on side, maybe he might be able to help us have some sway with the Salarians. That sounds bad! Okay, double time! Double no time. No Reaper's taking this Primarch from me! Right behind you! Let's run! Clear the camp, okay. Oh God. Okay, I guess we just get into the middle of the fight then. We're not we're not fighting with range here. Move into the compound. Let's go. Right behind you. Nobody get back up. Oh my god. Another brute. God. Oh God, you guys! Woo! Reload, Chef. Don't know if Cole will do anything. Oh, shit, <clears throat> fell off the ledge. We got him. General Victus, I hear you. In the water, they look so scary. Stand up. Holy moly. Oh god, I'm being shot from every angle here. My tactics are not gonna work for just running and gunning. <laughs> Got him. Turn up the heat! Turn up the heat, let's go. Garrus, get your sniper out. Get those two dudes up there. Oh, they're, they're Turian, don't shoot them. You can get your other weapon back out. <laughs> Ooh, this shotgun is crazy. What are you doing? James is good. I think we might have done it. I think they're all clear. Let's go speak to the general. Come on, Gare Bear. Move out of my way! Oh. There he is. The new general. General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. He's not going to want to leave, is he? It's beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. He's not going to want to leave them. I understand. I'm Primarch of Palavan. 
Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. Then you're perfect, just like Captain Anderson was. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. He sounds perfect for the Normandy. Since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. You are perfect for me. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, that was easy. uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my Aww. men. That's so nice. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? None of us are Think qualified in this, thing, though, Shepherd. aren't we? Are we? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus. I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Oh, my heart Welcome flutters. Aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? One thing. What's up? Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavin. We can help Palavin. That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. Oh. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. We have to negotiate the relations Krogan. between the Krogan and the Looks Turians. Like just got a lot more interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how possible that is. We need Rex. And Grunt. Our Krogan mates. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Mm -hmm. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Fuck. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. On VidCom? Where do I see him? Link to Hackett. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. <laughs> Was there something else you needed to discuss? Tell me how things are on Earth. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit our tourist station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Um, sending us to the Mars archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover no. for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I've presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Oh, he feels sad. What's the strategy? How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. At the least platter, he believes in us. Is just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had. I know, that's that what makes me scared. Reaper. It took I literally everything. So I'll find their soft spots. Avoid them where they're strong and hit them where they're not. 
And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. I love his optimism. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. Yeah. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. What about the Prothean device? Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? Liara appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. The Death Star. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does. To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Wow. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. She okay, World War II reference. Okay, what about Cerberus? Where's Tim? Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. They want to control them though, not just the destroy them. Was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. Yes, I know what they want to do. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Nice. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Oh God, yeah, we really should go back to the Normandy, or we are on the Normandy. We should go check on that Nothing more, soldier sir. that we picked up. Keep me posted. The one that Back looks like it it's out. made of stone. We'll find. Commander, he just went offline. No! What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Okay, I'm going. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. Okay, deck three, See deck three, deck three. E. Ed's AI core used to be in here, right? Aha. Uh -huh. You guys all right? Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. It could be an electrical fire or something. I don't like this. I'm going in. She's alive! What is that? Edie, talk to me. No, have they taken over Edie? Oh God. There she is. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, <gasps> Shepard? What? Edie's Edie. taken the form of the thing. Yes. What? You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. What? So that's the body of the woman that her kidden and we took her hostage and now Edie's taken over her body what a transition you blacked out on us for a while there correct when we brought this unit on board I began a background it's a unit what is it information on the Prothean device this eventually triggered a trap a backup power source and CPU activated and the unit attempted physical confrontation fortunately I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled, thus the fire. A nice going, I guess. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. Well, she's all, why is she behaving like this? So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship for optimal control this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Okay. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You I'm scared of ED now. Correct. 
This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. <laughs> Edie's suddenly got this weird confidence. I mean, she's always had a confident, cocky sense of humor since we unshackled her, but now she has a body, she's a little bit intimidating. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Uh, just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. Yeah, especially kids. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. <laughs> Joker will also want to see it. Joker is going to be really creeped out by this. I can agree. <laughs> we need to go and see see Joker immediately. Oh, is Garrus back in his old spot? Let's quickly go and see Garrus. Has he come back to his old calibrating station? Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same Yay. numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. We're both old friends of Erdnot Rex. Hey, Gerber. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Calibrating. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. Fair enough. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of Why does he speak like that? Sovereign didn't go down with a fight. Guns. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. I can relate. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. This is the first time Shepard spoke about this. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory. Exactly, yet. it's such a hollow victory. It's not because a I told you so type tough. thing. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to I see I wonder how different this would about. be if we had romance not each other in Not actually two. do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. Exactly, we have just made this up as we went along. Nobody we're knows what they're doing. Now. I don't think we know what we're doing still, Garrus. This is new territory for everyone. We definitely earned it, though. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. He's a great Something friend. Something else you want to talk about? Oh, tell me about your family. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from him? Long enough to be worried. Oh, I don't really want to say don't worry, but... I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. What do you think of the new Primarch? So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Ugh, the then way he, he did purrs. Try, well... We'll just find another Primarch. It could be you. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Okay. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. Oh, I just love him so much. What about this task force? So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, oh, shit, I knew yeah. time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. 
<gasps> I went to my father. He used to work for C-Sec, didn't he? I seem to remember that the <gasps> two of you didn't eye to see eye. eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector Base. That's a big story. That does make for a hell of a story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil and talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. Oh shit, yeah. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. At Let least he listened. Agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. How did that go? What to do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines like of communications, that? <laughs> expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. And what are the chances of winning the war? I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. He does make everything sound flirty, doesn't, doesn't he? We're talking about mass war and destruction and he sounds like he's like hitting on me. I love it. <laughs> After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. We do, obviously. In this war, that's not going to happen. Oof, okay, that was a grim way to end the conversation. No more to talk about with Gare Bear. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Oh, I thought they were gonna Wouldn't kiss. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. <laughs> okay, now we need to go up to Joker and see if Edie has taken her new human form up there with him, which is so weird. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Sure. Commander? Are Commander? You right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. Edie's I'd a little bit preferred overbearing a now. to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. Grissom. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Grissom Academy, I believe someone called Grissom is mentioned in the Mass Effect 1, not Mass Effect 1, in the Mass Effect book that I'm reading. So I think John Grissom was his name, and then maybe the Academy was named after him. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. I th I'm pretty it's sure Caden went through that ago. Ascension project. I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. Oh Just my god, yes we did! Open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Of course I'd like to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded transport. to their distress call. <laughs> so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship. Oh, story. okay, yes. <laughs> Whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. Of course she does. If this really is Cerberus, 
Hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Accept the compliment. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> oh, yay! So is she sitting up here with you now? She is. Oh my god, Joker, what do you think of this? Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! <laughs> He's so excited! Pull yourself together! No, did you know about this? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Nobody seems okay, to trust each other way. anymore. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake! <laughs> I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Now yes, Edie's going to know what it's like to be a woman in the workplace, being objectified by her co-workers. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design Jeez, oversight. Jesus, this is going to be so At the weird. Moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Joker, stop being so Perhaps weird. You speak <laughs> privately. I'll be over here. Why is Flying he being ship? like this? So inappropriate. Joker What's is darn about? bad for Edie right now. Not like your new platform? No. I think he proves. likes it very much. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Oh my god, this Shepherd, this fucking guy. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Interesting question. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order from me on moral grounds? Why is she asking that? Does she now have morals? I make that calculation. If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Why are you asking about something like that? Mm. I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. Yeah, he does that. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Make modifications to what? To Jeff? No. Edie's becoming very scary. That does sound dangerous. Your core programming. Like self-preservation, not allowing humans to be harmed, things like that? Correct. No, 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 no. Leave that as I it is. I see how that could alarm you. That is why I wanted to discuss it before making changes. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? Yes. <laughs> when there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Jesus. Oh my god, this is so weird. If you had have asked me like two days ago who I thought was going to become the crewmates on the Normandy in Mass Effect 3, two options that I would not have said would be Edie in a human robot body. Yay! And also a Prothean. Okay, Omega, come see me. Aria's message does. Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come and see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Okay, Ari, I will come see you. An urgent message from Hackett. There's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. Is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages but gotten no response. Oh no, who is this going to be? With Earth's comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumour the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Nuara. Please excuse the moniker as this emails encryption in my line of work it is unwise to advertise my location particularly when i'm not in good health 
We should meet. Oh, it's thin! We should meet before circumstances force us apart again. Finn. Oh, we need to go see Finn. Oh my God, I need to go to this hospital and visit all my boyfriends. Why are all my boyfriends in the hospital? Doc says I'm ready for visitors. Hey, Shepard. Through some combination of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you if you can spare the time. Counselor Udina offered to make me a specter. Wow, oh my God, that's why my Elenko my Elenko hoodie has got the spectre thing on it. Still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Oh. A help request. My name is John Dumbau. I'm with the Special Tactics and Recon. Oh my God, my DMs are lit right now. Like why am I, why have I got so many messages from all my boyfriends and all these random people? While some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in STNR took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. Uh oh. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Meet me in purgatory. You've already messaged me from Arya. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Okay, so it looks like we're going, we're going to the Citadel then. Arya's messaged me twice. We need to visit Arya, Finn, Dr. Garrett Bryson, Caden, and John Doom. Holy shit, we've got so many people to visit on the Citadel. Let's go there right away. I should go speak to Cortez, do you think? Yeah, I actually haven't spoken to him yet. Hey, Cortez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. At ease. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. I see my little dog He's walking around like in the that. background. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. Wow. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. Got it. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. Okay. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Okay. I always want to know about these people's uh, family. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Aww. Lost my parents years ago. <gasps> he had a husband. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. Where's your husband? The collectors took out the whole colony. Oh. I'd rather not talk about it. Cortez. His husband got taken by the collectors. That makes me super sad. Tell me about the armory then. Do you then. maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. Uh, yeah, I you think that's you right. You love the show, Esteban. Oh, they're flirting. The first retrofit we did was and to they move were the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome yep. back to the Alliance, Commander. Exactly. But this is something that we didn't have in Mass Effect 2. That's interesting. What's your service record, sir? How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in first fleet My serving on dog. the SSV Hawking, <laughs> flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. All right. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oh, oversee okay. all cargo Oh, okay. You've been here for a while, then. What about the ground vehicle? What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? What happened to the Mako, more importantly? We sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. I know it's on to the Normandy crash site. Can we not get a new one? It's designed sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. And tell me about this new shuttle. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. 
It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based Ezo. on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. Nice. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. That's why we got you. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. What a weird thing to say. <laughs> no toxic masculinity on this deck. What the hell's up with Edie? Do you She's fancy her now home, too? A super hot, sexy home. Everyone has a crush on Edie now. Mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. James, I just said there was no toxic masculinity on this. <laughs> Even more distracted. Uh, nice try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just said there was no toxic masculinity on this deck and you just went and ruined everything. Thanks, James. <laughs> Going to jail. <laughs> nice try, but um, let's talk about nicknames again since we're flirting. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So I just give them a new one. Right. Lola, you're putting you in horny jail, sir. You mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk or fucked up beyond or all recognition. That's about it. Sorry, Commander. He's a proper military Just man. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic. How's your state of mind? <laughs> you had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah, but I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. I'm starting and I'll to do like whatever James. It takes to get us there, Commander. I wasn't sure Maybe about no James, but no promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Mm. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. There. Oh, this is so funny. I like this character now. I, I wasn't sure on James at all when we first started, but I think I uh, I'm starting to like him. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle, retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines. And oh. It was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him no family. No dad. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. We can do that. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Oh. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. They're friends. I like them. I'll talk to you later. You bet. You bet. Okay, he's very flirty and he has a crush on Edie and Shepard. We love that for him. What's my dog doing? Hey there. Hey there. And they were crewmates. All right. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Yes, please. Straight to the hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we need to find. Yes, I know your talk. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know. I support the receptionist because I feel like just leave her alone. She's just doing her job. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Oh shit. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. I would support the, the staff always because why the fuck would you, customer, be shouting at this woman for the name of the hospital as if she personally named it? I doubt it. I doubt it. Please let me see Caden Alenko. He emailed me. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. Where's Alenko? I'd like an answer, <gasps> Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. Leave him alone. I look forward to it. Shepard. Udina. Udina. Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack Why time. is he shirtless? Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? It was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. You need some advice? 
I got you this. Wow. I picked thanks. up the whiskey at the show. Really great. Just a little pick me up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out. I'm of kicking here, my feet. I'm swinging my feet and kicking tied them. I'm to this bed by medical red tape. Mm -hmm. I mean, Doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she Why always finds this so one more test. Why is his face all rubby? I'm gonna go visit Thane too, everybody. Don't worry. Oh, it's bruises. Okay. Well, why is none of his beautiful chest and pecs not bruised? <laughs> Why is he shirtless? Oh god, the doctor's like, you need to keep your shirt off, sir. I know you've been here for a few days now, but you must remain shirtless. <laughs> okay, how are you really, Caden? I really do need to go and visit Thane, but how are you first? You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. Why did you ask me to come? Maybe I need to be more forward with him. So I can be nice and just be like, it's good to see you. Or I can be forward and say, why did you ask me to come here? Uh, I'm going to say it's good to see you. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're going to be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. It wasn't nice. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. And when I told you about how Rana broke my heart, Oh. You didn't judge me. You knew I needed that. We went through Asha's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? <sighs> are we good? We are good. You're the one that doesn't trust me. A kiss. We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. What's going on? Is there something else? Say it. Yeah. What? Maybe. What? Well, I heard something about you and some oh. assassin. I could lie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lie? I don't know what you're talking about. He's just down the hall. Let's go get him. God. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions, how can he possibly be annoyed at me? Like, obviously I went and got with somebody else. He fucked off for the entirety of Mass Effect 2, practically. I'm going to apologize. Kasumi's had a word with him, obviously. <laughs> I should say, you're right, let me explain. Or I should say, I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I'm not going to lie when the guy is like down the hall. <laughs> the nurses talk, you know? I'm sorry, or you're right, let me explain. Oh, I don't think I did do anything wrong, to be honest. We weren't in a relationship, were we? I'm going to say you're right, let me explain. Our fight on Horizon really threw me. You just shut me down. I know. I just couldn't believe my eyes. There you were, alive. Can we, um... Can we just put this behind us? Please. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. Oh. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. We'll do. Are we back together or not? Thanks for coming. Are we back together? Something else, Shepard? Oh yeah, we can talk about all this. I was so okay, so how is your family? Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. He's from Canada. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope. Huh, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing Why? where I am. <laughs> I'm so distracted by the shirtlessness. It's so unnecessary. How are your biotics? You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. Mm. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. 
Or maybe We're growing you... old <laughs> together. Are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. Ah! Play it cool, Shepard. Play it cool, play it cool. Um, what have you been up to? Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented Why is human he not biotics to sit still? around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... No. We're different. Don't say freaks. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs taking red sand. <laughs> but I don't have to tell you that. Returning to active duty? You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Aww. Well, the future flashed for me. Oh, the that's anguish, sweet. The, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard, to save at least a few lives. Bless him. He's so sweet. Can we talk about Horizon? Like what we argued about? Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. I'd like to move past the harsh words and be friends. At least. So, how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. You were standing right in front of me and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. Okay. That's it then. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Lie down. Bless him! Now where is Thin? Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades. To Is fight Thin also in a bed somewhere? I know he said he was in the hospital, but I don't know if he necessarily meant as a patient. Actually, no, he was a patient because he had a pseudonym or something. Thin said that he was here under a different name. He's not there. Let's go back to the reception and maybe we can ask a receptionist where he is. Oh shit, there he he's right there. Why is he punching the window? What are you doing? Finn, did you just hear me having a conversation? What? What are you doing? This is weird behavior, Thin. See her. I See heard Ruth was under attack. I didn't know you'd made it out. Is that Babe, why you're punching the air? It's been too long. I was beginning to think I'd never see you again. I sent a few messages while you were incarcerated, but I suspect they never got past the guards. What are you doing here? Visiting a uh, friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Is his cough getting worse? Yeah. We have spoken. He was holding out hope that a woman would visit him. Oh, this is so is awkward. Something I should know about you too. Oh no. <gasps> no. No. Oh no. Why have I done this? More consequences of my own actions. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I could have my cake and eat it too. Do you think he's seen my hoodie with Elenko on the back? Oh no. No, I would like to, I would like to say Shepard's not a two-timer, okay? She's not a two-timer. She's never cheated on anybody. Caden and I had one night together. We thought it was great. He then effectively broke up with me and he said, we can maybe fix it one day in that stupid email he sent. So what does he expect? 
There was no lies. I never told any lies. I never told any lies. I thought it was like cyberpunk where we can just get with anyone and everyone. All the husbands. No, we never cheated. There's no cheating. There's no cheating. It's just you were there and then you weren't. We've never been boyfriend, girlfriend. This is me trying to, you know, <clears throat> you know, eh. turn down both in romance, Karis. <laughs> I'm trying to justify my actions whilst this Salarian is like thrusting the air in the background there. I truly don't know what to say to this. I think I'm going to say we're still intimate because in reality, I do want to be with Caden. And I apologize to all of you watching who want me to be with Thane or Garrus, but I just love Caden. I'm so sorry. We were together for some time before I met you. I still want to make oh. things work. Can you understand that? Oh. No, he's going to be heartbroken. Well, if he means something to you, then he will to me. He has my protection as long as he is here. Wow. What a man. I can offer no more and no less. It was good while it lasted, Shepard. Thank you, Thane. I am at the end of my life. It is not the time to be possessive or petty. Let's find some privacy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I've got a few free moments. <gasps> that's not what I thought she meant! I don't think that's what <laughs> you want, Shepard. Even if it seems like a good idea now. Hearts are fragile things. And even a little confusion can cause permanent damage. To you. Or... Whomever. That's not what I thought she meant. I thought she meant for like a conversation. Fuck. And that's not what she meant. That's not what I meant, Finn. Uh, how long will you live? Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. Oh, bless no him. It is a good end to a life. Does it hurt? Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Aww. Can't you come with us? I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure I think he probably you. just wants to live out his I days would not now. I be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. Still help. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. Okay. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Oh, I hope that by saying that line, I haven't fucked anything up because I, I truly didn't think it was like a romantic thing. <laughs> Goodbye, Thane. This makes this sad. I wish the best for you, Thane. I think of us often, Siha, but we always knew it would come to an end. I see Live her. Well the time you have. Perhaps we will see each other again. Please hug him or something. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flattered. I wish the best for you, Thane. I think of us often, Sia. But we always knew it would come to an end. I'm gonna Live cry. Well the time you have. Why did I do this? Perhaps we will see each other again. Oh, my Finn is just gonna stay here and live out the rest of his days. I need to go speak to Caden again and make sure that nobody told him that I just tried to proposition the man I just broke up with. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Something else? I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Okay. I think we're okay. Thin is a real one. I love Thin. Thin will always have a special place in my heart. Oh. God, that's sad. That is sad. Tells me you refuse to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? What? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? 
No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Okay, we're not going to get the rest of that story for now. We have loads to do on the Citadel. I think that's what we'll do next time. So we will leave this stream here. We've done a lot. And I don't know how I feel about that decision with Thiam, but it is what it is. We're back on Team Elenco, right where we belong. In the next one, we've got a lot of little side missions to do on the Citadel. So we'll get cracking with those before heading back to the priority missions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.